the next thing that we want to do over here is to make use of the change notifier so whenever we have some change we will be using our notifier to update our particular ui so let's go to our lib folder over here and create a new folder and call it as a notifier or anything that you like but i will just stick with the notifier for here and i'll just call it as a employee we have a change notifier dot the dot file so we create a employee notifier dot that file and create a class and call it as a employee change notifier right so change notify yeah, change notifier that will extend from the change notifier okay so we have got that one and we will need a app database to function this one we need to call the function from our app database right so i need a app set it at not the app bar app db and this should be of a non-level type and the app db that we have and i can remove this one i'm not going to use it okay so let me import it from the foundation and then we will have uh, some more other uh, let's create a function first of all void and we'll just say init app db so this should initialize our app db we'll take the parameter app db as the db that we are getting and then we will set our underscore app db over here to the value that we are getting over here after that we have we can create a let's create a uh, the list that we need so i need the list list of the employee data right so we need the list of the employee data and we will call it as uh, underscore employee list of future f u t u r future and that will be of the empty list that we get and we'll set the setter for this one so i will just set the setter so we need the list of employee and uh, that will be of the getter and we will get it from the i need the function arrow function over here i need to get it from the employee list future so we are setting a getter and a setter over here this is to since this is a private variable so we are not able to access it from anywhere uh, we'll be using this getter value to get the values over from here so next is we'll create a function and uh, that function will be to get the employee future right and this is not going to take any parameter and uh, what we will do now is uh, we will call the function uh, let's call the function of our underscore app db that we have that get the employees right and uh, then i can just say call the dot then over over here and we will get the list of the employee value over here and instead of arrow function let me use the actual function over here and we will set the underscore employee list future to the value that we are getting right once we get this uh, we can actually go and call the notify listener so um, what is this one it is actually saying that this should not be now right so this is a null level field so this will actually go and call the 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 em, get employee and whenever we get the employee we will set it to this particular employee that future value and then we can also have uh, something like a string over here and this string we will call it as a let's say underscore error 
and uh, that we will set it to a default value of our empty string and then i will again have a uh, let's have another string value to let's say uh set a getter over here to error and, and then that we we will get it from the underscore error over here okay so we got this too and um, then we will go over here right so over here is dot then and i can also call the another function here dot on error right so we get the error stack and uh, here we will actually set up our function so what we need to set is underscore error that we have will be equals to the error that we are getting actually and dot we will set it to a string over here okay so one that will also handle our error case and then we will actually notify it over here so we have created our change notifier over here the next thing is that how we are going to implement um, this particular notifier inside our widget tree right and also you can just go and um, do the same thing for the others so if i just copy and paste it below over here and this should be of the future not the future it should be of a stream right so we are getting a stream over here previously we were getting the um, we are getting the uh, future but we are getting the stream now so here we should call the get employee stream and i will just remove all of this for now and what we can do is when we get the stream we have to listen right so that uh, listen i think i'll just go down a step and dot listen it call the um yeah we can call this one as a e v e n t event that we get e v e n t event that we get and once we get this event uh, we can actually go and set our value right so we have to set the uh, underscore mm, where is that one so underscore yeah so we have i think i'll just duplicate this one and just copy and paste it below so let me duplicate this one employee list future to the stream and this one to be of a stream to this one to as a stream to so once we got that and here we will just set it to the employee stream and this will be of equals to the event that we get right e v e n t event that we are getting and we will just close this one and uh, this is the event that we are actually listening so it, it is getting the list of the employee data so whenever we are getting that we will set the value to our local variable over here and then we can also go and call the listener over here right okay so that should be fine i think so we got now um, we got call for the two right and then we have to add another two function that will be of the uh, to add and to delete right so we also have a two one is to delete and one is to add the uh, add update and delete so we still got the three so maybe we will do it in the next lecture and uh, till then have a great day